Senator Watt. Senator Roberts. Thank you, Madam Deputy President. As a servant to the people of Queensland and Australia, I support this bill with reservations. Firstly, there is a growing belief among our governing class that Australian federalism relies, in many areas, on shared endeavour. I do acknowledge that coordinated federalism, where each government works with the other, yet retains total determination over and exercise of its own constitutional powers needs some honing today. After all, the internet runs as a, th as a thread through our society and connects us all across state borders. Yet this does not mean transfer of power from the states to the federal government. This most definitely does not mean that. I am advocating generally the reverse, that we need to send some powers back from the federal government to the state governments in accordance with our constitution. It is fundamental to our constitution and it is common sense that the best service delivery occurs when the person making a decision is located closest to the people affected by that decision. I mean, that is obvious. That is the reverse of what has happened in our country since 1944. The greater the distance apart, the worse the decision-making. We need to stop centralising and restore competitive federalism. Compet competitive federalism, with six states working independently, yet together, is highly effective. Our country was leading the world in terms of per capita income from 1901, when we, were, uh, formed, as a, when we formed as a nation, to about the 1920s. And that was because of competitive federalism. I am concerned, secondly, that this bill... So before moving from that, I'll just re reiterate that it is very important to actually get back to competitive federalism with the states working independently yet together. My second point is that I am concerned this bill will give the states the chance to wash their hands of responsibility for the integrity of the data in this register. I urge the federal government to ensure that when this register is designed, there is suitable, effective grievance reporting so people with an error in their entry or who have been mistaken for someone else can correct the record. Australians have recently seen firsthand a total failure of the federal government's IT function with the chaotic, tragic robo-debt scheme. And that's not just a matter of having an apology from the government. It's not just a matter of hundreds of millions of dollars approaching close to a billion being an error, it's wrecking people's lives. And it's important to understand that the government never pays for its mistakes. The people do. And what I mean by that is that, when, is that the people pay twice, once for what the government did through our taxation system, and then through our own, back, uh, our own hip pockets for the consequences of the government's error. And we can see that with the live cattle uh, banning that the Gillard government uh, put in place capriciously. Now we see the federal government lining up to take over business registrations. And people know that outsourcing the IT function did not t turn out so well for the government last time. Thirdly, I am concerned this bill is not a bill about making a better system for controlling business registrations and keeping track of company directors. I am concerned that the government has spotted yet another chance to sling yet more taxpayers' money at one of their corporate backers. Who will it be, Mr Acting Deputy President? KPMG? Indue? We can hardly wait to find out, but we will be watching. All parties to this register must show the, the respect that is required for the Australians whose livelihoods, whose legal liabilities are bound to this register. Please, Minister, take your time and get it right. Remember our constitution and competitive federalism. Care about the people you are serving. The government must do better this time because, after all, government is here by permission of the people, on behalf of the people, to serve the people. In accordance, and that service from government must be in accordance with our, with our people's governing document, our national constitution. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President.